Bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just tuning in for the first time, thank you so much for checking out this video and also thank you for liking this video and sharing this video with anyone who likes these types of videos, reviews and recaps, or just married to medicine in general. So let's talk about it, y'all. So Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone, they was talking, they was having, you know, their little kiki moment. And they were talking about how the younger generation can be a bit entitled. And honestly, I do agree. I have, you know, a younger generation um, as kids. And I do see how they are not the same as I was when I was growing up. Like they definitely, a lot of them do want things handed to them. Or it could just be because of the way we treat them. You know, we don't, we ain't giving them the hard knock lives the way that we had it. Um, or at least that's for my situation. So anyway, Letitia, she needs to, she, she meets with Dr. Heavenly and I, I feel like she tells her a little too much. You know what I mean? Like she feels like she's confiding in a friend, but Dr. Heavenly is also the person that will go back and tell the group everything that you said. She tells Dr. Um, Heavenly that, you know, she's upset right now because her husband really isn't helping, well, her husband-to-be, Dr. G, really isn't helping her the way that she would want him to help out. But I think that she's expecting more from him than he wants to give or that he ever said that he would give. Like, he's the money man. You do everything else. Like, you're expecting for him to, like, participate and, you know, help you with decor and this and... Nah. He's just gonna give you what you need to get. And that's it. Like, just be happy with what you got. And that's that. So, um, yeah, he's not really involved with that. She also reveals that he's a little bit controlling. She said that... You know, he does pay all the bills. And Dr. Hemley was like, you know what? Make sure you have your own and make sure you save. And those things are very important. She's like, you know, I do have my own. And yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. She said, you know, does he kind of throw that in your face that he pays for everything? She's like, he most certainly does. You know, some of the things that Quad said, I can see now that it's real. That's the thing. I think that sometimes we don't want to kind of like listen to or take advice or just kind of heed the warning or see where's my thing at see the red flags you know when they're right in front of your face we want to just keep on going and just kind of be like well maybe he'll be different with me Maybe he was just like that with her. I mean, look how she was acting. You know what I mean? But no, a lot of times, this is how the person is. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Believe them for real. The first time, second time. I mean, once you keep on letting them show you different times, you are now the problem because you're just allowing it to continue on, continue on. So that's kind of what's happening there. She said that she kept on or keep kept on forgetting to turn on the alarm system and he taught her a lesson like she was a little baby he told her that there was robbers in the house armed robbers okay like what you really did you really think that was a lesson a joke like that is unacceptable sir like doctor what are you doing and so and she said that she got pissed off about it it was going back and forth and he was saying like you talk you, you acting like quad but She's like, well, who else have you lived with besides myself and Quad? You know, of course. Like, we're starting, she's starting to see the similarities. But at the end of the day, what I got to say for that is you get what you asked for. Because you went out searching for this man. You saw him on TV and you said, that man is broken. He has issues. He's a narcissist most likely. You know what? That's what I want. I'm about to change him. I'm I'm about to make him my husband. You know, like, and now you're pretty much getting what you asked for at the end of the day. I mean, you saw a lot of the issues and I'm pretty sure you've been seeing them because it doesn't come out like just randomly. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I wait until after the marriage, but he's been showing it. But you know what? She see them red flags and she said, you know what? It's carnival season. I'm ready to walk up myself in these red flags. 
Oh man. <laughs> but Dr. Heavenly, her daughter wants to go away to college and she is not really having it. Her or her husband, they just like, no, you need to stay home. I'm like, they can't be serious because y'all really cheating this girl out of an experience when y'all was able to get it. But it's like, they feel like that's their little baby and they want to protect her. It's like, we don't need you in the house, but we want you close to the house. You know, one call away, we coming. You know, <laughs> um, so the ladies, they have a bachelorette party for uh, Letitia. And they was, they was looking a little hot, you know, had their little lingerie on and stuff, see-through and lace and, and silk and all that stuff looking good. It was getting the princess queen empress treatment. But Letitia, she got a call talking about she had to change the venue and that girl turned into Bridezilla. Like, she started getting upset. Her sister tried to calm her down. She was not trying to have it. I'm like, is this girl drunk? Because what is she doing? She getting so, so turned up and heated up. Like, girl, you turned into a whole dragon for what? Like, what you doing? But um eventually she was able to like calm down a little something and come back to the party because they had to have a little in intermission because i was like what uh so dr heavenly she chooses at this moment during this party to tell everybody about the same thing that she heard from Letitia during their meetup that they had from dinner or lunch or whatever it was that they had that time where he said where she said that she was controlling so everybody's looking like that's very odd that two days before your marriage, you talk about your husband is, is you know, is controlling. And for Dr. Heavenly to say, I don't think they should get married, that's even more like, whoa, an aha moment. Like, what's going on here? It's definitely shady situations. So Phaedra invited Quad to this bachelorette party. <laughs> so things really got a little interesting and you know they fake hugged it out she even told quad to come sit next to her old versus new young versus old let's do this girl <laughs> you know <laughs> when somebody has like a secret competition in their head like yeah girl this isn't what you used to be i'm taking over your life <laughs> And it was just so super fake to me. I'm like, what are y'all doing? But, I mean, Quad was actually very nice, you know, very respectful. But it was Toya that made a big issue over it. Like, what are you doing here? This is my... Like, the girl tried to, like, simmer things down. And she was like, no, this is my event that I threw for you. I'm like, Toya, you need to, you talking about these girls can't drink. You don't need to be drinking because you're doing the exact most right now. Like, she's saying everything that's in her heart. Like, she should take your heart out and place it on the table. Like, here, take that. I'm like, oh, ooh, just chill. Like, you're making it tense. Like, you're the one. She was like, you said, and she called Letitia out. Like, you said the other day, and I think, what was that, the, not the bachelorette party, but the wedding, the bridal shower. She was like, you said the other day, don't even bring up Quad's name. Now you talking about come sit down next to me and you acting like y'all best friends. Like, what is this? I'm like, dang, the Toya, you hate this girl that much that you really... She was like, no. Who brought her here? She was like, then they found out it was Phaedra. Phaedra's like, no, I mean, they keep asking for her. So let's let her come so you can ask her where she been. You know what I'm saying? I'm helping y'all out. So she was like, Phaedra, take your friend out of here. And, you know, Quad went up to Letitia like, do you want me to leave? You know, she was like, I think that it might be best to just not be at this event. I'm like, yo, you a whole sucker. Like, do you want her there or not? Like, that just made things so super weird. Like, all because of Toya? Really? I'm like, nah, that's that's unbelievable that's absolutely insane right there so that was interesting um and dr g he's a whole nother story they had a bachelor party for all the fellas big booties jiggling wiggling everywhere but this dude looked like he ready to have it on and popping at the end of the night like homie was ready to he literally invited one of the strippers to the wedding he's like you could come to the wedding baby <laughs> i love me she said my name is tequila he said i love me a margarita homie said if i take my pants down they ain't coming back up i'm like oh no, you are so lucky that your boys is really there for you because they not going to let you do anything crazy, especially 
on camera because everything about to be done and over with. So they like, you know, well, we got him. You know, we 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 got Dr. G, okay? <laughs> Even Dr. Eugene is like, we I, I could see where this is going, but I'm not gonna let it happen. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm like, he a real one for real. Keep him in your corner, bro. <laughs> But that was the episode, y'all. Hilarious, as always. I will see you guys on the next one. Laters.